Geronimo by Shepard. You're listening to Insanity Radio 103.2 FM. I am White Shadow and I am joined in a studio by the most amazing performer ever Hello. to exist since since the beginning of everything ever, Jade Thornton. Hello. It's <laughs> back in the studio. Greetings. How are you doing, Jade? I'm good. I'd also like to point out this is the first time I've ever been here and it's not chucked it down with rain. <laughs> It's a good, it's a good omen. I'm loving it. Now we're on the other extreme. Now yes. I'm, I've been melting on the way up here. Yep. Speaking of melting, you were performing in Staines a few <laughs> days ago, weren't you? What a segue! <laughs> <laughs> I was, yeah. That was fun. I got burned. This is how you've <laughs> produced the new nickname, Jade Tomato burn. Thornton. I don't like tomatoes. Where's, what what? are the red fruit? Oh, tomatoes. Oh, no. I, I, I tell you what, when I was younger, my granddad used to go to Shepparton Market every week. Uh, Campton Park Market. He yes. used to go to Campton Park Market every Thursday. Yes. And they'd always come back with the most beautiful, beautiful, big, glossy red apples <laughs> I have ever <laughs> seen in my life. Oh, apples. I apples. Said tomatoes. Yeah, apples. Yeah, yeah. apples, tomatoes, Gucci. potatoes. Apples. Peas, I'll take that. Tomatoes. Similar. No. <laughs> and I've, I've never, t- to this day, I've never found those apples anywhere else in the world. I've seen red apples, but not like these. They, they're just so big and they're almost... Like snow white apples. Almost like proper snow yes. white apples. I just don't know. They just don't seem to exist You anymore. just want to polish them and not eat them, don't you? Yes. <laughs> Put them on display. <laughs> Glass cabinet. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I mean, there's uh, red peppers, but that's kind of already been done. Red peppers are the best, though. That's, that's They're just it. so good. <laughs> I'm resembling one right now. You're, you're resembling... I, I, I still think a tomato. No! <laughs> <laughs> red pepper with a watch line. Oh, it's a red pepper with a that's watch how line. You know, that's how you know it's been hot in England when you see the people the day after with just the horrific tan lines. Oh, you're yeah. Like, <laughs> You made a mistake. You made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when you wear the long sleeve t shirts on a really hot day. You get that tan line just I was below not the anticipating elbow. anticipating being in the sun. <laughs> my usual spot on our bus is in the shade. I, the sun comes nowhere near me. My spot was taken. So I had to move down the high street. I was in the sun. <laughs> oh, I wore a three quarter sleeve top. So. Oh, you can kind of see. I don't know. I don't know if um, someone up there is currently like karma is doing its thing. Because when I was younger, I used to just burn, yeah, just burn, just burn. <laughs> <laughs> just burn to a crisp. But now I'm kind of tanning, so I think my time has come. I awesome. I, yeah, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm finally catching up with the rest of the human race. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank I, you. I've got sort of a, a almost a blue complexion going on with my arms. It takes me a week of sunbathing to turn white. Blue. Yeah. I think that requires <laughs> a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> requires medical attention to <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, let's yes, oh. let's get off of the topic of, of funny skin colours. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I, love, I don't know. I love your laugh. It's a, <laughs> reminds me of an episode of Family no! Guy. It? <laughs> it does. <laughs> um, right, yes. On that note, now that we've established that Jade Thornton is definitely not the colour of a tomato, she is the colour of a red hot chilli pepper. Stick around to Insanity Radio 103.2 FM. Chandelier by Sia. Before that, we were listening to Under the Bridge by Red Hot Chili Peppers, one of my longtime favourites. Do you like that one? Love it. She loves it. Sorry, I was just tweeting. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, you're listening to Insanity Radio 103.2 FM. I am White Shadow. We are joined by the legendary Jade Chili Pepper Thornton. <laughs> <laughs> That's the next EP. Red Joke. Pepper. Jade RP Thornton. Ooh. Chair moves. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
Uh, for those of you who are watching the live stream at insanityradio.com forward slash listen after hitting that big shiny watch live button, you can see Jade as she learns the gadgets and gizmos of the chair that makes her droop lower and lower and lower and lower. And it's 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 fun. I'm Because I'm, I'm standing up, I've got the microphone right in front of me. So as she drops down, I have to tiptoe over the mic to be able to see her. I always used to remember in secondary school, we had one, no, not in secondary school, primary school, we had one IT room and these were the most entertaining things. They really were. Sorry, carry on. We did not have swivel. When I was at school, we did not have swivel chairs. (gasps) Even in the IT room, there must have been about 35 or 40 computers in there. And there wasn't one single spinny chair. It was the most traumatizing thing ever. Oh, it was the best. We had the bog standard plastic things. You know the chairs, when when you're at school, you have the chairs with the arched back. Oh! No! I I, I, I mean, I've read somewhere it's supposed to kind of help with a posture and help... I, it, no, it didn't do me no favours. No, no, not I, exams. D- d- no. Oh my gosh, exams. No. Yeah. You'd think the cushion ones would be better. Uh, no, they're not. No. I once watched um, a three-hour-long version of Hamlet. It was great, by the way. Brilliant. <laughs> was on a, one of those chairs. I could not walk after. <laughs> I was like. <laughs> I was like, I'm just going to stay know, here. The, the cushion <laughs> ones, they, they sort of troll you, don't they? They, they, they taunt <laughs> yeah. you. It's, they come, they it's, it's, it's like enticing you in. They Look, do. we're cushioned, we're soft, we're so nice. They do. You sit down within three minutes, you're like, oh, no. Uh, I remember I had my A-level exam season was in this kind of weather. I remember last year we had like this very, very warm weather. And I was like sat in, this, in the hall and I was like getting stuck to the chair. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> As if this exam wasn't painful enough. Getting stuck to the chair and like sweating profusely is the word that can only describe it. <laughs> sort of peeling yourself off yeah, of it. Can like, <laughs> this just end, please? Oh. oh my gosh! It's, I, find, I find it. I, I can't even remember how we got onto this topic. We, I don't know. We, we, we've been. <laughs> like, we did start the show talking about pe- peppers and apples. Yeah. You've now made me really hungry. But 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 where did you get me to? I had I had a pasty before I come in here. I didn't eat. I didn't eat. <laughs> I'm uh, gonna get Maccas on the way home. I'm, I'm genuinely racking my brain right now, trying to work out how we got onto I chairs. I know I, what I want to talk about is those. What we were talking about when the mics were off. Yeah. Is a post on your Facebook. Yeah. Oh yes. Do you want to talk about this? <laughs> yeah. Why yeah? not? Let's okay. do it. Yeah. Do you want to summarise it or shall I? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. yesterday I posted some. Yesterday evening I posted something on my Facebook page because yesterday I went for a stroll around Virginia Water Lake. I was probably about a third of them away around my favourite little route when I noticed a, a, a woman. She was a middle-aged woman. Just sort of. She was. She had a bicycle upside down and she was trying to fit the back wheel onto it and she really really looked like she was struggling and I always have this tendency if I see somebody struggling with anything I just without even thinking I usually just stroll over so do you need a hand of anything and I'll say yes or no I'll do my bit common courtesy common courtesy yes. I, I guess and yeah I, but on this occasion I started walking over to her and all of a sudden I just sort of froze on the spot I literally yeah. hesitated and I thought to myself for the first time in my life I thought hold on what if she, what if she's offended by this oh it upsets me what, what, what if she feels like, like I'm, I'm somehow being sexist or something like the man can do it better than a woman kind of thing and I started having images of her getting really angry or, or, or you know frustrated yeah. or something and just, just not liking me as a person Friend because yes mm-hmm. and so I, so I stood there thinking about it first off I started thinking I need to be really tactful about this how can I approach her in a way that couldn't possibly look like this anything I mean I could, I could <laughs> see she knew what she was doing yeah yeah, you yeah. Know, but sometimes two hands is better than one yeah. and yeah it just got to the point where I was thinking about it I was overthinking and I, 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 was, I was just getting so stressed out trying to work out how I'm supposed to offer somebody a hand without having my head cut off <laughs> but I ended up giving up and walking away yeah. and I, I carried on walking and I got about two minutes up the road and then I stopped and I thought no this just doesn't feel right I can't just walk away I ended up looking back and I realised that at least 20 other people had gone back and forth past her without saying or doing offering any help without even acknowledging her yeah. existence and I thought oh, this, this, this just isn't fair yeah. so I put on a brave face took a deep breath started rewriting my will started <laughs> heading over <laughs> and I headed over to her I asked if she wanted a hand and as soon as I said you need a hand she just like looked at me with a massive sigh of relief she oh. nodded she said yes please I've been stuck yeah. here for the longest time Yeah. you know and within a few seconds because I was looking at it from the other side I was looking at the bike from the other side to what yes. she was stood at so I, I saw what the problem was straight away and 
we just you know as soon as I saw it she knew how to fix it and we just sort of like worked together to get that back wheel back on within about two minutes she was on her bike she was saying thank you and she rolled off quite proudly and as I, I know there's at least three different morals to that story, <laughs> but I, I, I genuinely like cannot find them. them. It's, it's just, it's, yeah. Don't it's, underestimate the power of... Um, help. Help. <laughs> Good old help. <laughs> Good old help. <laughs> of just being kind. But in your circumstance, the whole gender thing came into it. Yeah. Which I think is ridiculous. <laughs> but just, I think, I think you were slightly unlucky with the nature of the issue because it was to do with bikes yes which are seen to be a manly thing for all you know she could have been a closet olympian she like, could have been exactly. yeah exactly yes exactly but I... I'd, <laughs> i was reading it and i was like oh by the way have you ever thought about writing a book because you're very poetic in your post i'm halfway through one Oh, I'm first to buy it, pre order it. <laughs> I'm buying it. Yeah, anyways. Um, More about that later yeah. in the year. <laughs> but uh, I just, I don't know, as a woman, it upset me because you didn't think that you could be kind to someone. Because I think you should ignore the barrier of like, oh, she's a, she's a woman, she doesn't, she doesn't want me to be sexist. But you know, obviously, you know, some people out there are going to be like, from what you said about your experience. Yeah. I, Some people are just going to be like, stay away from me, I can do this myself. But... <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, it's, it gets frustrating because there are plenty of men out there, I know yeah. a few myself, that would quite happily walk over to her and say, leave this to a man, love. And, See, now that would vex me. That would yeah, annoy me. That yes. was when I would be like... That would when I would swing, not, it's, not yeah, physically, I, verbally. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> making it clear we don't condone violence yeah. on the radio. Really. That was uh, when I would get, I would get snappy. Yeah, and, and because of that, it makes me more cautious because mm -hmm. I, I, in some cases, I, my age and my gender just sort of match the stereotype of the, the typical sort of you know toxic masculinity theme kind of thing, and and you know it's just been in social media so much recently. Mm -hmm. There's been so many issues and. Yeah. Yes. events going on that I'm, I'm just it's just constantly on the back of my mind now to the point where I'm scared to offer to help somebody just in case they misinterpret my mum always says it's the way you tell them and I think that is very true to this situation yeah, yeah if you yeah. swag it over there and you'd be like right love <laughs> <laughs> move over I can do that for you I think she would have been very annoyed but if you walk yeah. over there being Terry and being the lovely person that you are and just be like <laughs> you look like you've been struggling do you need a hand she, as she was I'm sure it'd be great like I said to you before I remember um, there was a large box after we had done a drama piece and it was full full of mirrors quite heavy and um, I would I would call myself a relatively strong person I'm not ashamed of that I don't care I can pick stuff up and this guy was like all right I need a strong guy and I was like me <laughs> <laughs> and I went over and I picked it up and he was like oh where's the strong guy to pick it up and I was like that's not even funny mate <laughs> I, was like, I was like move out of the way there's a job to be done you don't need a certain gender to do it and he was like no but seriously he was like why don't you just let one of the strong guys to do it and I just looked at him and I was like I am more than capable to pick up this box yes thank you very much <laughs> and he was like okay okay it's when you persist because if you would have walked over there and asked her if she said no, and then you walk away, that would have been fine. Yeah. But if you persisted, then it would have got ugly. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Exactly. Uh, yeah, absolutely. It's a minefield. It's a minefield. <laughs> it's, it's got a lot more mines than it did 10 yeah. years ago. So. Oh. <laughs> Which I think is good. We definitely yeah. need a proper restructure of yeah. society's yeah. standards. Yeah. But yeah. on that note, um, I, we, we've been, we've been, it's a 10 minute segue so far. So <laughs> I'm going to say we slip on a few more tunes. Put on some chains. And try not to break too much more with this wrecking ball. Yeah. Firework by Katy Perry and before that we had Wrecking Ball by Miley Cyrus and I got told that it's just banger after banger during yeah, this show. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. So, it's true. so yeah, yeah you, you know good music. You're... I like to think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I need an opinion because I get so many people cringing at my playlists. No. So? I think they're great. 
I've Check got a cheese out. playlist on Spotify. Just pure cheese. Oh my god, I know cheese. I know nineties cheese. Oh, it's like the best. Naughties cheese as well. Naughties and eighties. Eighties, eighties, nineties have been a favourite. Eighties, uh, noughties, it's like getting lost at the noughties. I mean, eighties, I'm up for a good eighties banger any day. The cheese oh. room at any club, I'm like, let's go. <laughs> if you had to pick one eighties cheese song as oh. your favourite of all time beyond any other just because it's Sunday afternoon you put me on the spot and here. you're really hot and, and, and it's hot, weather hot and <laughs> and, and I, yeah I just fancy putting you on the spot oh. oh my gosh last week was three my my show last week was exactly 365 oh, days yeah. since my first ever yeah. show on Insanity Radio oh, and <laughs> And I had Olivia Woodrow, the station manager, in the studio with me. Yeah. I had Isabel Sheeran, the head of publicity, in the studio with me. And I had the Happy Hour presenter, alumni Aisha Weir, in the studio with me. And I put I put Olivia right on the spot because we've been chatting for like way over a year now. And I, I put her right on the spot. I, I had a whole quiz. Can I cheat and look at my playlist? Yeah, you can just to drop my memory. Go for it, yeah. Because <laughs> there's so I just I just get so turned to. That's the only it, that's the only word to describe it. <laughs> it's difficult to remember just about every eighties specifically cheesy. Song. I do love a good bit of George Michael. It's George Michael's and good. Whitney Houston. Whitney Houston's yeah, good choices. They are. Wait, hold on. I, I, I'm, I actually can't remember any of Whitney Houston's. Uh, songs off the top of my head at all i can't even think of one oh i want to dance with somebody i want to feel it with somebody you must remember the I, yeah i will always love you i'm not going to sing it, oh yes yes i remember that I, how will i know don't you need some power in your voice for something don't like have <laughs> <laughs> don't have that don't have that <laughs> See, this is the difference. This is the significant difference between me and you. Is you can sing really, really amazingly well, and you say there are certain things you can't do with singing too easily. Sorry, pause. Mm? Take on me by a ha. Take on uh-huh. me by a ha. <laughs> Especially uh-huh, the, you know, uh-huh. you've seen the vine, right? Uh, no. You must have seen this. I think I just <laughs> broke. <laughs> And then she does, she does the turn the head. She's like, <laughs> that one. About the only time I ever right. see vines is when they're on the I'm going to tag you in it on moments. Facebook. <laughs> okay, tag me in it on Facebook. The and Africa time. by Toto. Sorry. Carry Africa on. by Toto, yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I that yes. I know that's, that's a meme, but I love it. I, 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 I could live with it definitely. Oh my god! I, I I shared something on Facebook just a couple of days ago as the whole song uh, on the harp, oh. the whole. Of I Africa, saw that. Toto, yes, on you the heart. It was I so shared. good. It was amazing, wasn't it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You've just gone. You've just resorted to this like beautiful classical interpretation. <laughs> I was just thinking. Have, have you seen the meme? I swear, my, my <laughs> sentence start with that. <laughs> have you seen the vine? And have you? <laughs> as, <laughs> as a musical, te- as a music text student, this resonated with me. Very much so. <laughs> Please tweet me if you've seen this so I'm not going insane. It's the piano roll. <laughs> because in on Logic and other softwares, you can lay out a piano roll of... Um, oh, and they lay yes. out the piano roll of the world map and it yes. gets to Africa and Africa by Toto starts playing. I cried. <laughs> I saw that on Twitter. Yes, oh, I saw that on Twitter. So. It's funny. I love that piano roll thing. I used to have a MIDI player, a MIDI creator that looked identical to that years and years ago. And I used to make my I own little MIDI. MIDI. Just... I love MIDI, yes. <laughs> Uh, possibility that endless. <laughs> I know, but it was actually really quite magical. The piano tones, it the, the keys that are playing throughout it were just absolutely magical. Especially when you change the velocities, they're all different colour. Sorry, I'm getting really techy. <laughs> <but laughs> a velocity what? A velocity what? A velocity what? You know when you press, yes. you know when you press a key, if you go like, it would be really like high yes. velocity. But if you press it really softly, it'd be really low velocity. Yes. So you can alter them because the music tech possibilities are. Endless. Endless. A lot of people don't know that about me, but I'm very into that side as well. I'm not great at it, but I'm I'm into that side. Like <laughs> I've excruciatingly <laughs> that was just for dramatic effect. <laughs> uh, recreated some hit songs. So, wow. Yes. That sound I wanna hear some of these now. I've actually got a remix. I, th- I think we'll have to see if we can squeeze it onto the show for next week. Yeah. I wanna see if we can put it on a system for next week. I've got 
I'm curious now. I've got my version of how deep is your love. Uh, oh. <laughs> I think that's the, what the examiner said as well when they heard it. <laughs> <laughs> and I've also got a uh, remix with... Um, it's about um, Donald Trump. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I want, oh, yeah, I might release it on um, SoundCloud one day. Yeah. yeah, nice. Yes. Speaking of SoundCloud, let's plug some of your stuff. Where can people find you? You can find me most places at Jade Thornton Music. Yes. SoundCloud, I believe, is just like Jade underscore Thornton. But um, yeah, I am Jade Thornton Music on Facebook, Instagram, Jade underscore th- JG Thornton 99 on YouTube. I nearly just got my own YouTube name wrong. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Find me on Instagram, etc. Did... I'm in a competition as well. Uh, yes, tell us more about the competition. I actually placed in a competition. How crazy is that? What was the competition? For the Song Academy. I actually just noticed that there's a tweet on here. They tagged you in it, but not me. <laughs> they tagged Insanity Radio, but they didn't tag me. Yeah, uh-huh. um, I entered a competition called the Young Songwriter Competition, not thinking anything of it. And I was chosen to be a finalist. How crazy is that? So I'm playing at Westfields on the 10th of June. There's a date in for your diary, of, guys. Yeah, There's a there. date for the diary. Please, please come. Um, but yeah, I was I was awaiting the finishing date, and um, I actually uploaded the video that I played here of only me. But um, I was I for some reason I didn't get a notification, so I looked on the Instagram. I was scrolling down the list, and I was like, "Hold up! <laughs> There's my name! What? What?" Whoa. what? What? Shut the front door! I was like, that's my name! I love that expression. I even did a little interview. I, I will post it on my Instagram as well. But they just, yeah, asked me some questions. I did an interview. I, yeah, I posted on um, Facebook, but this time last year I entered the competition. I know I'm talking a lot, sorry. No, that's but, right. But um, I entered the competition and I had to ask for the money to enter the competition because I didn't have it. Oh, bless. And uh, I entered it with my, for those that have heard confusion you've had confusion i have had confusion we'll all admit it's below par (laughs) it's not my best i will be the first it was the first song i ever wrote right Mm -hmm. i entered it and i was like oh i'm gonna enter a competition and i obviously didn't win and i literally i remember having to ask my mom and dad i was like mom can you give me five pounds because i don't have it and now i'm in a job i do a job that i love and i could pay for my entry and i placed you placed Dreams are achievable, lads. And ladies. And ladies, sorry. It's definitely achievable. (laughs) 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 Oh, good times. What do you say we throw on a few more tunes? Go for it. Let's see if I can keep up this this, this banging tunes vibe, (laughs) shall we? Oh, yes. Yes. Go on. Yeah? 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 100%. Unwritten by Natasha Bedingfield, and I cannot believe, before that we had Teenage Dirtbag by Wheatus, but I cannot believe that already, technically we've only got about three minutes left before it's the end of the show. You, and this is the crazy thing about when, when, whenever you come onto this show. I don't shut up. It's, it's like an hour of getting started, and, and then it's over. It, it, I absolutely love having you on the show because you've <laughs> always got something to talk about. You've always got things to be thinking and discussing, and and it just it just flows so beautifully when you're around. I just I just want you here. I, I need to start applying for like a four hour show or something and, and getting you on every single week. Yes. I need to start doing that. Yes. I d- <laughs> so so you brought your guitar along today. To, I did, and we didn't get a chance to use it. We didn't. <laughs> However, we have talked about tomatoes and, yeah, and red peppers. Yeah, the, the, the important stuff. The important yeah. stuff, yeah. I mean, I could do Dream a Little Dream. That is like a minute long. You could, couldn't you? Look, do you want to? All right, oh, then. Oh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> Every time. Check it out. I, it's my favourite song. Yeah, it's, yeah, I was busking the other day, <laughs> and I, I get an approach from someone, which I'm all, I'm all ears for, literally. <laughs> And I just get, oh, sorry, hi, um, uh, sorry, um, I've got Terry on the phone. He wants to dream a little dream of me. It's Terry's father. <laughs> and I was like, 
I've already done it, but you know, I can't say no. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> I apologise for the people in the shops around me. This is freshly, this is freshly restrung, so bear with me one hot moment. Hey, it's all good. Because it... <laughs> this is a little song I like to call Tuning Up. <laughs> Those of you that get that reference. No? No. <sighs> I'm playing all the right notes, but not necessarily in the correct order. <laughs> wow. Tune your guitar before you come in, Jade. I mean, there's no better sound than a freshly strung guitar. But there's no worse chore than having to constantly tune it! <laughs> Don't put your guitar by your radiator. Hey! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is a, that is a, that is a genuine tip. Don't put your guitar by your radiator. I, I can imagine it. Wouldn't it just completely deform every string? That's loosely in tune. We should use a pick. No, actually, it sounds better without a pick. Stars shining bright above you Night breezes seem to whisper I love you Birds singing in the sycamore tree Dream a little dream of me Say nighty night and kiss me Just hold me tight and tell me you miss me While I'm alone and blue as can be a little dream of me Stars fading but I linger on you Still craving your kiss I'm longing to linger till dawn dew Just saying this Sweet dreams till sunbeams find you Sweet dreams will leave all worries behind you in your dreams, whatever they be Dream a little dream of Dream a little dream of Dream a little dream of me I, 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 I never know how to come back from that Sorry, is your mic cutting out? <laughs> No, my brain is. <laughs> See, every time you finish a song, I don't know how to follow on from that. That I mean, song's very difficult to sing without having a sip of water. When it, well, yes. It's when it goes up, you're like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a roasty hot day, and you've been it in is. the studio with the aircon on full for the past hour, and even though it Why helps to keep it nice and cool, it also keeps the air nice and dry. <laughs> It really does. It really does. People leave here, especially during my 24 hour radio marathon when I oh, came so out, good. I feel like cactus is growing on my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> it was just... That is a horrible image. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, oh my, my gosh. stomach. You just <laughs> hurt my stomach. <laughs> just try talking. Not only is Jada performer, oh, her oh. stomach is. <laughs> <laughs> What's scary is you can imitate your stomach better than your stomach can imitate itself. That was impressive. That's a whole radio show in itself. There's times that has done that inappropriately. Inappropriately? Uh, inappropriately. In it, it's almost as good as my cactus is. I'm pretty oh. sure it's cacti. Oh, it's just oh. in the middle of exams. Oh, I know. It's They'll a whole... just be like, pens down. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. I've been... <laughs> We're in a room full of about 40 people. It's dead silence. You could hear a pin drop, and that's the moment your stomach decides it's going to perform an entire orchestra for everybody. Have you ever recorded it? I, I, I've never tried recording my stomach rumble, no. Okay, you. when you say it like that, you make it sound weird. It's not weird. <laughs> I know I know. we've got only five minutes left, but this is going to be quick, right? I was once no, laying on my stomach. Oh, damn, okay. I was laying on my stomach and I was recording something that I was watching on my laptop to send to a group chat because it was quite funny. And my phone was on my stomach, so it picked up everything in my stomach. Let's just say you could sample it and make a really funky track out of it. 
That's the new wave of music. That, right, play your track. That's a, a tummy rumble. Awesome. Uh, what a note it. to end it. Thank you so much for being on the show again today. Oh my Last gosh. Last time we spoke about meatloaf and hot it's a dogs. hot dog sandwich. Now we talk about tummy rumble. Yes, on that note. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages, let's get ready to rumble. Let's get ready. Watch us wreck the mic, watch us wreck the mic, watch us wreck the mic, psych. Let's get ready.